Hey, what's up, y'all? DPR here for the training tip of the week. Uh, something that I learned <coughs> from some good friends of mine, Jeremy Kreiner and Robin Ramirez. A lot of times on the fire ground, you see people running around with their mask like this, just kind of beating around. If I'm forcing a door, it's swinging all over the place. If I'm operating a saw, it drops down in front of me, creates some problems. Now, coming off the rig with your mask on or off is a discussion for another day. I can definitely see times where you want to come off the rig with your mask on, plenty of times when you don't. Uh, if you're having to cut a whole bunch of overhead doors open, uh, if I'm the OV guy on a truck, i got to run to the seaside, take some windows. Division group supervisor on the seaside of the building, I want to have all my stuff on, ready to go, but I'm not in the IDLH atmosphere, so I don't want my mask on. So what I do is when I put my SCBA on, I leave a little slack in my waist strap, capture my mask with my waist strap. So now whatever I do, it's not flying all over the place. If I bend over to operate a saw, it doesn't get in my way. When I'm ready to put my mask on, because I got a little slack in here, I run my hands in, bend forward, my mask becomes three, I put my mask on, the last thing I do is I run my hand back here to find my tab, cinch my waist strap, so now my buckle is in midline. If I become a down firefighter, red team finds me, I got to convert my harness, my buckle is where they need it to be to be most efficient to convert me, rig me, get me out of the hazardous environment. So short little tip for this week, but it works really well. Been doing this for years. Really like it. Try it. Let me know if it works. Uh, it's real hot out there, man. Everybody's suffering. So take care of yourself. Hydrate. Watch out for the people you work with. Make sure they're doing okay. And with that being said, as I always say, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. See ya.